What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach Simpson and welcome to the channel. So we got another project customer car in here. Actually, I don't think I've ever, I've never vlogged a customer car, have I? Mm-mm. No, always started, never did. Well, we got another camo wrap. And the way things are going, we may have more because people really like mine. They're gonna see this one. I've already got a few people interested, so we'll see how it goes. I'm not gonna vlog every single one of them because you guys will probably get tired of it. But this one is gonna be with a paint base, not a wrap base like mine. So it's gonna have the gloss paint base color. And then we're doing three colors on this as well. Now they're similar to mine. We're gonna have satin black, satin charcoal metallic, and satin silver aluminum, satin aluminum silver, silver something aluminum. like that. I gotta look it up. But aluminum. it's gonna be close. I don't wanna show you guys the car yet. Craig's wiping it down right now. Yeah, let's just go ahead and show you guys the car. Well, we got a B5 Blue Challenger. Now this is going to be a fun one because there's a lot more real estate in different areas. So we will we'll figure this out. I've got like a rough drawing of how I think I'm going to do this, but we're just going to kind of go we're just gonna kind of wing it really because that's what we did on my car and it ended up looking really good. I think the side we winged it looked better than the side we planned. Do you think? So we got Craig again, my main man, always helped me with wraps. He really enjoyed the camo wrap on my car and I'm gonna let him have a lot of freedom on this one too, to kind of do what he wants and plan it out and kind of go with his opinion because I really like some of the stuff he did on my car. Now, we're gonna finish wiping this down. Of course, it's kind of cold today. It is January 1st. Happy New Year. Happy 2020. A lot of good things come in 2020. Got a list of vlog stuff that I want to do. Um, we had to go buy this heater because, of course, it's in the mid-50s today and rap doesn't like that. So, I will see you guys in a little bit. We're going to get this thing prepped and ready to go. One side is completely wipe down ready to go passenger side now the driver's side we're gonna kind of give each other free reign i'm gonna do most of the passenger side he's gonna do most of the driver's side i mean we're both gonna have opinions we're both gonna agree on it before we lay anything final decision and with that being said this should go pretty fast so i'm gonna start laying my design down over there he's gonna lay his over there we'll figure out the color combinations all that good stuff now i'm gonna tell you guys this right now you stay to the end of the video I got a surprise for you surprise for what's going on my car next so you guys might want to stay to the very end of course you want to see this camo wrap done anyway so watch the whole video now I'll leave it at that I gotta lay some tape so I haven't recorded us actually laying any tape lines because there's just so much real estate on this hood, which is completely different from completely different from my car. Like the hood and the nose on this car is so much longer and so much bigger that there's more real estate. So we're trying to figure out a pattern that's gonna work that doesn't look like everyone else's camo, which is the biggest thing for me. It's like, I don't want my camo to look like other people's camo. Now we have, even on the trunk, for instance, like this trunk is much larger than my trunk. So, but the difference is there's not a lot of side real estate like my car. So it's very interesting. We're gonna try to figure out how to do this without it looking just completely ridiculous. I think we have the hood close. Not sure, but we do have we do have this area that is done. That one's good. I'm not 100% on how I want to do this. We might break up some more in here, bring it down. And then we got some going on. I'm not going to tell y'all what colors we're doing yet. 
but we got to figure out how to flow. So when Craig and I were talking about it, instead of just starting on the door and stuff like we did on my car, we want to start on this hood area so that we can get it to just kind of flow so that all the camo's going with it so that we're not just starting in the middle and then having to make the front blend in with everything, which seems kind of backwards now that we were thinking about it. My car was a complete learning process. We didn't know what the hell we were doing to be 100% honest. So he's already got the measurements for this little piece right here. I think we're gonna lay that and then things will start to kind of come together because with this, we have to stop right here on the fender. We can't lay anything else, but we have a certain spot where we're gonna be able to move forward on that. I'm gonna keep trying to figure out this corner over here. I'm gonna go help him get this material ready to cut. We can lay this, trim that, and just get the ball rolling. What I'll do is once that's happening, we'll record each other trying to lay some stuff. Right now we were just kind of brainstorming and I didn't really think to record. So what we did here is we measured 47. You can see this little line right here. It's 34, which is what we're doing to this spot. It was 47, 34. Hey, before you're done cutting that, Will we show them what we used real quick? So we just use a regular tape measure for this. Do you want to use the, this one? This one. Yeah. All right, so I can show you guys what we use. We use this on cars because it's just safer than using a hard tape measure. That's the wrong side. Give me this side, thanks. So if you see, we're just giving it a little bit of extra room and then a little extra, a couple inches on that side. So 47 and then Basically the same thing. So overlapping, 34, a little extra room. So this is really handy when you're doing the measurements on cars because it'll, exactly, it'll fold around. You get that because when you're using a tape measure, as everyone knows, I can't do it with one hand. I'm not gonna put it on the car, but of course, you see, yeah, you can't get bends and everything, and this is all metal, so you will scratch your car. No customer wants a scratched car because you're using this tape measure. So, you just got these on Amazon, right? It's like a little three pack? Yeah, these little, whatever these fabric ones or whatever the hell they are. Got them on Amazon? I think they're just sewing. Sewing or, yeah, well, well, sewing, whatever. We use those on cars. We get the measurements. We get a little bit of extra material. And then again, like I've said before, we use this to, whew, sorry, we use this with the magnets so that one person can sit here and cut that whole thing out by themselves. It makes jobs really easy when you do it that way. Now we'll get that and we'll lay it. So we got Craig post heating around the tape line so that we know that we got a real strong adhesion all the way around so when we go to pull the tape, nothing moves, nothing tears, nothing, like everything's good to go. I did do a good tutorial, like on this whole camel piece, but we didn't record it. Craig took a picture at the very beginning and then held the phone and I talked to it, but there was, there was no recording. So we, we will try to do a different piece and I'll say the same thing over again because it was really good, man. I showed y'all guys how to do this. It was really nice, man. Until next time. Let's get Maybe on the next piece. No way. Okay. So when you go to break this line, you want to make sure that you got a strong adhesion right there. You're going to fold it over itself, hold it down, give it a yank, <laughs> and that's it. And you're just going to pull this. You're going to want to kind of keep it pulled at a similar angle that it's at so it's not come over here Ooh, so we bunched up right there perfect So now, 
like in every video, make sure you get both pieces. There's gonna be one on each side. Okay, we'll get it from this end. Love how every time I go to record, something happens. It's usually, that should just come all out just like that. And there's the rest of it. Well, we got most of the front end done. Hood, bumper, working our way to the fenders. We're done for the first night. Um, ended up not recording as much because we just kind of got in the zone and I forgot about it. So I'll do a better job tomorrow working on some of these other pieces. But I'll show you where we're at right now. This right here, I'm gonna put in another piece to blend that in because that's a lot of silver. I like the black over here. Oh, don't get up. You can see he's working on his design over here. I'm working on my design over here. So it'll all come together and we'll just, we'll see how it goes. Honestly, because just kind of winging this one, this one's really, this one's really actually been kind of challenging. I've put a lot more thought into this one, which I don't know if is good or bad. Anyways, we'll see you tomorrow. You got some good distance on that. Okay, day two. Craig's kicking stuff around the, the driveway. Driveway. Garage. Now, he's laying some more of his silver over here we've got all this i've started just laying all my tape over here i'm gonna try to get all of my design done before i start laying um i'm just gonna kind of go a different route than i did last time last time we did like basically piece by piece this time i kind of want the whole design to be laid out and then we'll go in and start throwing color down uh we only got about three hours we can work tonight ish maybe four doubt it i uh, got a late start someone stopped by and dropped some some fun stuff off for me well but fun stuff here i'll go show you guys looks like a tire shop over here so i got new tires for my silverado that doesn't run because there's the motor anyways uh i'm gonna do more of today i'm gonna start showing you guys the wrap process instead of just talking So, get himself a relief cut. You see, all this is going to be silver over here. So, we got Craig laying some tape within this one. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do layers on this one because this is just one really big piece of silver. This was the game plan for this. Then it'll tie down on that. As you can see, I have most of this entire side done. I'm about to start laying material. Craig's got a good amount of his side done. So it's all coming together. We're just kind of going all out with and you can see where he's lining up the tape to do the single pattern so I keep recording Craig working because I can't record myself working so stuff's getting done behind the scenes I just can't record everything while I'm doing it and I'm not setting up a tripod, tripod and all that. So let's show you guys kind of the progress and where we're at at the moment while he's doing that before, actually I'll go do the knifeless tape and all that so you guys can see that. We got this 
area all done. This will all be silver. Do you want to hold this real quick? Since this is going to be an interesting one. Yeah. Well, what I'm going to do is... So one thing you don't do is you don't do one piece to do all this like we did, but we were trying to get a design figured out. So what I'm going to do is lose my knife at some point. It's on the floor. Oh. Right. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have to redraw this line. Okay. So, I don't know if you saw how I did that. right where I took that. So again, as always, make sure you pull both. So now we have this straight line here. What you're gonna do with your blade on gaps like this is you're gonna go up under the panel. You're gonna get just enough angle that you can cut. You wanna make sure that there's tension on this so you can cut all the way through. And you're just gonna keep it at that same angle all the way. And that's done, and what we'll do is pop the hood. And we have enough material to tuck under. And then after you break that line, can you see how that that's raised up? So, again, as always, you're gonna come back and you're gonna post heat. You can see I'll give it heat. You can see that it's not actually attached to anything. And always rub out. Don't go along with it because all these wrinkles, what you'll do is you'll end up creating a wrinkle that you don't want. Just like that, we got a pattern. So now what I'll do is I have this one for this side and I'll come back and I'll draw that to match that. So this is, this is about it for night number two. We got a lot done. Really the only thing left is Craig's quarter panel. And then I've got my door and then the rear, but tomorrow's Friday. So we can actually stay up a little bit later. We can get this thing completely knocked out tomorrow. That's the game plan because we got some cool things going on this weekend that really needs to get done. So I'm gonna do a walk around with the car real quick. Show you guys where it's at. Where he knocks out this, tucking all that. See, and he did this little tricky spot right here where this camo goes in these three areas which are all really intricate spots to wrap but it's all tucked really well. I mean, he's not done up there yet. You can still see that, but here we go. I really like how this spot turned out. Got another silver spot. So let me back up and see if y'all can see the whole car. So once all this is done, it's really going to tie this whole half of the car together. And I'm actually pretty excited about it. So that's it for night number two. I'll see you guys tomorrow.
Day three, back in the garage. Craig's over here finishing up his side. What I'm gonna do today is I'm already set up on all of my designs all the way down the car. A little bit up there, a little bit up there. I'm gonna have another piece in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and measure all these out and get everything cut. And I'm basically gonna put the camera somewhere in this general area and just do a time lapse and show you guys me working all the way down. Because if I have all the pieces cut, I can lay the material, cut it out with a knife list, trim it, go on to the next one, and I can just knock these pieces out in hopefully a pretty quick time and the time lapse won't be too terrible. But that'll actually show me working going through because I haven't really done any work on the camera. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna get all these measured. I just didn't want the time lapse to go on and on and on. So I think that was about 35 minutes worth of work. Collapsed into like two and a half minutes of time lapse, which is pretty cool. So you can see behind me. Driver's side is coming together nicely. I'm gonna come over here. I've changed some things up, even from what I did in my time lapse. I think I actually I took one piece off and changed it. I didn't like how it was looking. So here's an update of how we're looking now. So I added a lot more in this area. I gotta fix, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change this black piece over here. We're gonna add a little bit more gunmetal down here. That's gonna be silver. Got another piece over there. But it's coming together. We don't have a lot more left to do. I think we have what I just said on my side that I'm gonna do a little bit more. And then we have the back, one piece on the trunk. And it's done, son. So Craig is finishing up with the very last piece. 
on the back bumper. And I'm gonna show you guys in the morning when we can actually pull it outside, wash it, get it in the sun, do an actual reveal, but it's done. I love it. Turned out better than I thought it was going to. And you guys will see it now. Okay, so the car is done. We're outside, we got it wiped down. Finally, took a long time, it's midday, but we got the owner here, he's picking it up. We got Derek, and we got my boy Donnie over here. Ain't too bad you ain't got the meat over here, huh? <laughs> Yeah. So let's see it. Let's see the car. So here is the finished product. What you what you think? You happy with it? Love it, bro. At least tell the people on YouTube you happy with it, even if you ain't. Man, I love it, bro. I love it. <laughs> Wouldn't wouldn't that be some shit? <laughs> like you, you be on YouTube and you're like, you like it? Nah, dude, I don't like it at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be some. That would be funny. I'd have to edit that out. Appreciate you. Yep. So I got a picture of both of them in the garage a little while ago. But that's it, guys. I'm out. If you like this, hit that thumbs button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications. We got some more stuff to come. Oh, I forgot I told you I was going to give y'all a sneak peek of what's coming next. I'll do that in a minute. Ooh, and... Oh, it looks so much better than when it sat in the garage. All right, so let me go get everything set out real quick and I'll show you guys what's coming up next for my 300. So let's show you guys what we got coming for the 300. Oh yeah, we got full airlift, front and rear. So we got air struts in the front. We got the bags and coils in the rear. Let's see, we got the tank, compressor, we got full three-piece set up, all the fittings, all the airlines, everything, which means she's about to be sitting on the ground. All right, well, close to it, at least. I miss air ride. I miss having something on air ride. I had a bag so broad a while back, and I really miss it. This ain't going to sit as low as my truck did, but it's definitely going to be a fun ride. And it just needs more low, guys. It needs more low. So we won't have this little issue anymore. Now, once I get the air right on, I'm going to test fit. I probably got to roll the rear quarter panels, which I'll do a video on everything. I have a few things in between here and there that I'm going to do before I do this install. But you guys best believe I'm going to be doing a full vlog install on these. It will probably be broken up into part one, part two, part three. Probably do full front, back, air management setup, all that good stuff. But look forward to that, guys. And if y'all got to connect with Airlift, Message me down below in the comments. Do something. Hit me up on Instagram because I got an issue. Maybe not an issue. I got a question that I want to talk to somebody about. So, again, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications, especially if you want to see this car go on air. That's going to be coming up, guys. See you guys soon.